Hi everyone, today we're looking at how to use the Avada dashboard. In this video I'm going to show you all the Avada tools and features you can access from this central dashboard. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok let's begin. The Avada dashboard is found under the Avada menu on the WordPress sidebar. The Avada link itself will also take you there. Every major area of Avada can be accessed from this dashboard. Most can also be accessed directly from the Avada menu on the WordPress sidebar as well. But the dashboard is a convenient, centralised place for all things Avada. Let's check it out. At the top of the dashboard there are a couple of menus. Below this is a welcome section, some Avada resources, and the Avada registration field. If you're not yet registered, the registration field will be further up the page, above the resources. Most of the action on the dashboard happens along the top, in the two menus. Most of these links open within the Avada dashboard, while a couple go to their own pages. At the top left on the menu bar is the Avada logo. You can always click this to return to the home page of the dashboard. The first item on the top menu bar is Options. Mouse over this and you have access to both the Global Options, as well as the Avada Builder Options. If I click on the Global Options link, it opens the back-end global options. These of course can also be accessed from the sidebar in Avada Live. I'll just click on the Avada logo to return to the dashboard. If I now click on the builder options, we come to a page where you can set a range of builder options. See the how to use the Avada builder options doc for more details on exactly what you can do here. Websites is the next item, and here you can browse and import from our huge range of pre-built websites. You can also select one of these sites when using the setup wizard. See our pre-built websites documentation category for lots of information on how to choose and import a pre-built site as a great starting point for your website. Avada Studio is the next item along the top menu. And this great feature allows you to import from a huge range of professionally designed pre-built content blocks, from full pages, through to headers and footers, and containers, columns, and even single elements. This is a not to be missed feature of Avada. So check out the how to use Avada Studio doc to make sure you're up on how to use this great tool. Maintenance is the next menu item, and grouped here are all the links to the various maintenance areas, to keep your install shipshape and up to date. There are 6 items here. Patcher takes you to the Avada Patcher, where you can apply any small fixes to your site put out between Avada releases. From plugins and add-ons, you can manage any of the bundled premium and recommended plugins that come with Avada. The performance wizard is next. I'll just control click on that to open it in a new tab. This should be run first once you have completed your website, to optimize your site and fine tune its loading performance. Please see our performance wizard docs to learn what this tool can do for your site. The changelog link is next, and this simply opens the changelog file in another tab, and lists the details of every release of Avada so you can see exactly what got added, improved or fixed, with every single release. If I click on the support link, it takes us of course to a support page with information on setting up your support account, and various links to the main channels of support for Avada. Make sure to familiarise yourself with all of these so when you need help it's right at your fingertips. System status is the last item on the maintenance menu. On this page you can see your Avada version history, run conversions or run the setup wizard, and see details regarding your site environment. This area is a great place for troubleshooting if you are having any issues. Back at the top, at the right hand side is Nevada Live link, which will open the home page of your site in Nevada Live, ready for editing in the front page builder. Ok, under this is another menu. This one gives you access to the other major building tools that come with the Avada website builder. Layouts is first up, and here you can go to the Avada layouts builder, to create and control the layouts themselves, and their conditions. Alternatively, you can click on the Layout Section Builder link, which instead goes directly to the Layout Section Builder. Here all the existing layout sections are listed, and you can create new ones or edit existing ones. Please see our docs on Avada Layouts if you are not yet using this groundbreaking feature. Off Canvas is next, and this recent addition allows you to build a wide range of custom pop-ups and sliding bars. Again, see the Off Canvas doc and videos for more details if you are unfamiliar with this new builder. Icons is next along, 
and here you can upload custom icon sets for use throughout your site. The Avada form links are after that, and here you can go to the form builder, where you can build and manage your forms, or to the form entries page, where you can manage any form entries. Sliders is the penultimate menu item, and there are three sub-menus here. Sliders allows you to add or edit an Avada slider. Slides lets you add or edit an individual slide. And Import-Export Sliders of course allows you to both import and export Avada sliders. The final link on the Avada dashboard menu is the library. The Avada library is a tool to help you manage any saved content from templates, containers, columns, elements and postcards. Check out our how to use the Avada library doc to understand how best to use and access this tool throughout Avada. Ok, that's the Avada dashboard, the central place for all Avada tools and features. Thanks for watching, and let us know how well you know your way around the dashboard. Ok, this concludes our video on how to use the Avada dashboard. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.